family of one of the men shot and killed by Kyle Rittenhouse says they are shocked at the outcome of Rittenhouse's trial. The 12 person jury found the 18 year old not guilty on all charges. Bruce Harrison has more on their quest for justice. This is my son right here. This is Anthony. John Huber is the father of Anthony Huber. We lost our son and there's no justice right now for our family and there's no closure. In August last year, Anthony was the second of two men Kyle Rittenhouse shot and killed during a night of unrest in Kenosha. He thought he was above the law anyways. You know, that's, that's how it's always been. He got out on bail. If, had he had been a black man, he wouldn't have got out. Huber suggesting Rittenhouse's race played a role in his treatment. Rittenhouse has claimed all along he acted in self-defense. I'm on my back and Mr. Huber runs up. He, as I'm getting up, he strikes me in the neck with his skateboard a second time. Then what happened? He grabs my gun and I can feel it pulling away from me and this, I can feel the strap starting to come off my my body. Rittenhouse then fires a single shot, killing Anthony Huber. In August this year, the Hubers filed a civil suit in federal court. They're suing the Kenosha police and sheriff's departments, alleging they allowed Rittenhouse to harm peaceful protesters. An attorney for Kenosha County says the allegations against the sheriff's department are false. The fight's not over. The fight's not over. There's, there's big issues here at hand that that people have been sweeping under the rug for years, like racism in the police in Kenosha. In a statement after the verdict, Huber's parents say they didn't attend the trial because they couldn't sit in a courtroom and repeatedly watch videos of their son's murder. In that same statement, Huber's parents say their fight for justice for Anthony will continue full force and their son will have his day in court. Reporting outside the Kenosha County Courthouse, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.